Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Gothis Gamer, and you are watching episode 46 in my series, Rome Reborn, where I am recreating the Roman Empire in Crusader Kings 3. If this is the first video in my series that you're seeing, there is a link in the description of the video that will take you back to episode 1 and back to the beginning of the series. It's a really good time, I highly recommend you check it out. Also, I want to let everybody know that I am trying to uh, involve my audience a little bit in in, uh, in my campaign. So I do have a poll that I am running currently. If you go to my channel page in the community tab, there is a little poll that I'm hold, uh, holding. It's to uh, uh, what, what I'm going to name my pets on from here on out. I do have some people who voted, but I'm going to let that vote go for a little bit longer. So I won't, um, I won't uh, act upon the vote this episode. I'll wait until next subsequent episodes because I want some time for for you guys to vote. Uh, so feel free to check out my community tab on my on my channel page and uh, uh, give us a vote. Give me an idea of what you want. Uh, what do you want our pet names from now on to be? So I thought that would be fun if I involve you guys a little bit, but. Uh, enough of that, we are going to jump right back into this campaign. We have a lot of conquests that we need to get. I have some good ideas of what we're going to what we're gonna conquer. I was uh, looking at the campaign after our last episode, and I was just making some decisions. So this is what I've decided to do. Let's, I'll show you what I've decided to do. We're going to continue. All right, everybody, so welcome back to our Roman Empire that is growing. Starting to look good. In the last episode, we were able to conquer Tunisia here up in northern Africa. Uh, so we finally have a little bit of a foothold in the African continent. And when I mentioned that I have an idea of what I'm going to conquer, I think because our current ruler right now cannot press any of his claims in the Byzantine Empire, we have to wait for this ruler to die, but there are some conquests that I can get in the meantime, and I can get a lot of conquests in the meantime, and what am I talking about? I'm talking about this. We can go to war with the Azarid uh, Kingdom here, the Azarid Emirate. We can declare war with them, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to claim or go to war with them for the Kingdom of Africa. It's not the entire Kingdom of Africa, unfortunately, because the Kingdom of Africa here, all of this in the light blue, is actually held by kind of several powers. The Azarids hold this portion, uh, the Wadan hold this, and then a little sliver of it right here, this county, or these two counties, or three counties. No, it's two counties. Let me confirm. All right, it's just one. I'm sorry. One county here is owned by the the Marjid Empire, which is going to be a little bit tough. But I figure that since I have the ability, I'm going to start conquering the rest of the Kingdom of Africa here. And then maybe once the truce with the Azarids is over, we will go to war again with them for this Maybe not necessarily the kingdom, because I don't believe... I've been looking at some maps of the Roman Empire, and I don't believe the Romans went uh, this far south into Africa. I could be wrong, you know, I could be wrong. But every map that I look up of the Roman Empire, it shows that they just basically stuck to the coast, especially in Africa. They did go a little bit deeper in. When you get into Egypt here, they did get a little bit... Uh, they did go a little bit more interior into uh, Egypt and obviously the Middle East, but uh, here in Northern Africa, they pretty much stuck to the coast, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to grab all of this, that, at least that's not my intention. I'm going to try to just grab some of the coastal holdings here. Um, I know this is all part of one uh, kingdom here, one kingdom title, but I don't think I'm going to grab all of this unless I have to. But for now, we are just going to continue our conquest, and we're going to try to take the Kingdom of, Kingdom of Africa title. So that is going to be our conquest right when we... Um, we're going to wait for our army to recharge a little bit, but once our army is recharged, we're going to do that. But 
Before we unpause, I'm going to check things. I don't need any more claims because this ruler is going to die and any claims that I press will die with him. So I'm not going to press any more claims. I'm going to keep my realm priest converting things, which is what he's doing. So that's good. My chancellor is currently integrating the Kingdom of Venice title. This Kingdom of Venice title. She is integrating it into my Kingdom of Roma title, which is fine. People's opinions of me are pretty good. Mostly everybody's 100. So I don't need her on domestic affairs. Uh, I'm currently promoting my culture in Gorizia here, but I think I'm going to change my mind. Uh, I don't want... I mean, sure, I do want everything to be Roman, but I don't need this to be Roman because this is not a shoreline holding. And because we have maritime mercantilism, uh, the trade po or the coastal holdings and counties of this culture provide an additional 10% tax. Unfortunately, Gorizia is not a coastal holding. I want to keep my uh, Romanness to places that are bordering the, uh, the ocean. So I think I'm going to continue promoting culture somewhere else. I think I'm going to continue in Sardinia. It is the least amount of time, seven years. At least that one is. All right, I'm going to continue in Sardinia. I am currently befriending my my steward. Okay, I am befriending my steward, so when we are friends, that will speed up that process. Um, I don't need my marshal doing that. I need my marshal improving control in my holdings. Alright, Spy is going to continue with that. Council's good. I don't have any prisoners that I need to release. All my court positions are pretty okay. I wouldn't mind a bodyguard, but that's fine. I don't, I'm not concerned about this guy living any longer. He's 80, so he's probably going to die very soon. So I'm not concerned about that. I'm going to pet my dog Jojo really, can, uh, really quick while I can. Thank you. Reduce some of my stress. And let's call a hunt as well. And I am going to unpause. Sure. I'm just checking marriages, guys, very quickly. I think I took care of most of them in the last episode, but there might be one or two that I neglected. I'm going to marry her matrilineally. Let's bring some more traits into our line, or into our, our court. She's 18. Alright, I don't mind... I don't mind this guy's personality. It's pretty good. They both have intelligent, so at least they'll be reinforcing her intelligent trait. So I'll bring him in. Alright, and that's everybody taken care of. So we're going to unpause. And like I said, once our army gets, gets up to full strength here... We are going to declare the on war on the Azarid uh, kingdom. Sure. Uh, we're going to declare war on the Azarid kingdom, and we're going to grab this duchy. We're going to grab this, all of this. So let's do that right. No, oh, no, a little bit more time.
Maybe one more month. Maybe one more month worth. They don't have a particularly high strong military, but because I'm going to be, be because I'm going to be declaring a holy war, they might pull in some other Muslims. So, all right, I think that's good enough. I think we have enough army here. We're going to declare war with these guys because we need, want to speed up our. We want to speed up our um, conquest now. I can only declare, and you may only attempt one holy war against a kingdom to your title per lifetime. Okay, that's fine. We'll grab this duchy then. We will grab this duchy. So we can't declare war against a kingdom here, but that's fine. I will call in my allies because I have so much prestige. I don't know what to do with. Uh, we don't. We're not allies with Frankie anymore. Let's change that. Oh, we cannot. Even though this is my grandson, I can't. All right, we can do it by ourselves. It's not a big deal. We are no longer allies with Frankia, which is kind of an issue. We will figure it out. All right, I learned a secret against one of my one of the dukes that I made recently. So let's get a hook on him. I or let's get a blackmail hook on him so we can edit his contract. It's this one right here. He he took it. Force partition. Nice, got rid of some stress there. We will deal with these guys attacking us. closer we to our next dynasty legacy uh, we're about halfway there all right they're abandoning the siege to come die in this battle Lit only by a single candle, my finger pauses on an entry in the ledger. Something is not quite right. Soon I'm searching through every record from the county of Siena, Siena I can find. At least it is clear as day. It seems as if an entire village has gone missing from the taxation records. I shall travel to the village personally. I always do things personally. I slay beasts myself and I handle tax issues myself. Alright, that was a quick war. You want it? We now have three more counties that we need to give away, and that's fine. We do have land that we can start giving away. We will finish giving away this duchy here. We've already given away one. Let's give away the next one. I can now give this uh, duchy away, this duchy title away. I can now create... Uh, which one am I going to create? 
I only need to give away two more titles, and this duchy is the one with two counties in it, so let's give this away. This will get me back to my domain limit. And since I'm, I'm creating a duke now, or I'm creating somebody who's going to become the duke, I want to make sure that they are at least going to have the good personality and some good stewardship. I care more about my dukes that I'm creating than I do about counts. Because counts get conquered anyway once I create the duke. Dukes want to own all of the land personally in their duchies. So I don't really care about care much about the counts that I'm creating. The duke is who's going to last the longest because he's going to be the he's going to be the one becoming powerful. So I want to make sure that my duke is the best skilled and he has personality traits that will be good for opinion with me. Like, oh no, he's a great grandson. Like this guy, he's trusting. His stewardship isn't horrible. All right, I'm gonna give it to this guy. Now this is just gonna be a count, so I don't care so much about this one. All right, and uh, now I'm going to create this duchy title, so I am their liege. This will be the next county that we give, or the next duchy that we give away. Now, unfortunately, we do have a truce now with the Azuride kingdom, so I can't fight them again anymore. Uh, I can't get this. I can't get this little piece of land. But we are going to be able to fight very soon this Marjid kingdom. Um, I ideally would like to wait to fight these guys because this guy has two kingdom titles. He has this kingdom title and he has this kingdom title and upon his death his realm will split so it'll make it easier to fight them because i'll only be fighting one of the kingdoms and i won't be fighting the other one probably but i kind of want to hold off fighting the marjid because i want this kingdom to split so we got what we can from the azarid I don't need to capture this county because it's not part of the African kingdom. I have I have everything. I have all the du jour lands in the northern part of the after African kingdom. This is the rest, so I just need to grab this. But that's going to involve war with the Marjid, and I think I don't want to do that yet. So we're going to hold off on going. We're going to hold off on going east into Africa, for now. And unfortunately, in Iberia, I don't have a, a Holy War Cassis Belly on any of these people. Even though they are Muslim, which is kind of weird. They are Muslim. But I don't have a Cassis Belly against them, so I, I'd, have to, I'd have to fabricate claims here. And unfortunately, this, this Muslim guy too, I can't declare war on. I'd have to fabricate claims here too. So we, we could pretty much only go to war with these guys and these guys for now. All right, on the other hand, in order to do our Unify Italy decision, we do need uh, some more lands that Bavaria holds right here. I need these, so let me take my Realm Priest off of these. I'm going to try to get this claim and maybe conquer it before my ruler dies, but I don't know if we'll make it. We'll find out. After a day of travel, I find the village that is missing from my records. Not only is it thriving, absolutely thriving, but the villagers insist they do pay their taxes. Uh, this guy, the barony's tax collector, has not been entirely honest. Confront him. I think I think oh, I think we need to chop some head off heads off guys. All right, somebody that doesn't matter to me 
is somebody up here in De in the in Denmark is converting or becoming heathen. So doesn't harm me in any way. Those funds were vital to uh, the defense of Sienna. He's terrified, not least because of the hulking soldiers I have brought to his manor. Oh, please, I will do anything to earn your forgiveness. You can die. You can die. I, do I want a weak hook on this loser? No. He's just a sinner all around. Kill him. Execute him. Alright, I'm still trying to befriend my Chancellor. I don't need any more progress. And I don't need better, better opinion of him. Or I don't need his opinion to be better of me. But I don't want to take any stress. So we'll just let him... Let him free his friend. Whatever. Alright, these Counts are already rebelling against their Duke. So I am now friends with my steward, which will increase the rate at which he promotes my culture. Where do I have him doing it? Here. Okay. Um, I'm going to befriend my steward, or my chancellor now. That will increase her progress. I've learned so much, I gained a stewardship perk. Your vassals are less likely to join independence factions. I might get down to administrator, guys, if this guy rules, uh, rules for long enough. Alright, my befriend scheme's going pretty well. See, how hard would it be to kill this guy? Pretty hard. Alright, I got, uh, I've got a hook on one of my new dukes that I created. Eighty percent chance, let's get it. He refused. Sure, let's expose it. That's what happens when you re reject my blackmail. It's kind of why it's called blackmail. Alright, hopefully we can get this before our guy dies. If our di guy dies soon, that's fine. We're ready for it. Line of succession is clean. Alright, I'm dying, guys. Here we go. I am now infirm, which... Let's check our health. We are ailing. Uh, becoming infirm affected our stewardship, which is going to drop our domain limit down. But that's okay. We're going to be able to give this duchy away. We have to start creating... You know what? I'll create this duchy then. I'll start giving these away. So I can give this duchy away now. And then I can create this one.
perfect. Back to our domain limit. Alright, it's just going to be about waiting for this claim. Or hoping that we die soon. See, I can declare war for them. I can declare war on them, but I don't have any claim. It's not letting me press any claims or anything. Not a very impressive grandson, or great-grandson. I don't need a weak hook on a count. I'll probably give her the position again. Um, do I need to edit her contract? I could. Okay, let's do that. Let's get a hook on her. I don't need the gold. Let's get a hook on her. Oh, she's not going to be my friend. I was in the middle of trying to befriend her. Yeah, she won't be my friend because I imprisoned her. All right. Fair enough. Another great-granddaughter? Oh, no, just a courtier. All right, I got the hook on her. Let's modify her contract. And just to get her back on my side, we'll make her chancellor again. Alright, this scaly-faced guy wants to be my friend. Sure. Enjoy the friendship while it lasts, because I'm going to die in five seconds, or hopefully soon. We've been staying alive way too long. Alright, I got a murder secret on another one of my dukes. Can we modify his? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. More dukes getting force partition into their contracts. This will be another piece of Lower Bosnia, which is good. We already have one piece of it. This next claim, which we will be able to press, hopefully. Just stay alive until that claim is until that claim is made. Just stay alive, sir. Until the claim is made, and then we'd start the war. Because once we start the war, the war is already declared. So even if he dies in, in the, during the war, his son can continue the war. All right, let's get it. One quick war with Bavaria. We're only going to be able to grab one county here, but that's fine. Who is this? All right. You know what? Since he's right here, I am going to call this ally to war, just for a little bit of help. Max 
excellent. Raise our armies. Let's get the war target and hopefully end this war quickly. Or they're going to come fight us. They're going to come fight us and die. Wow, my army wasn't even done mustering and we beat them. Alright, I don't care. He's gonna die soon. Don't care about you. He already had kids. We want to keep trying to unify uh, Italy, guys. We need to keep doing that. Uh, I don't need claims anymore. We got the one that we were going to be able to get, so let's go back to converting things. We should get the siege done before they get close. Alright, I got another secret on her. I can't edit her contract anymore, so I'll just take the secret. I'll just take the secret. I won't use it for anything. Uh-oh, this is a son. Ooh, he does have good traits, but he inherited lover's pox from his parents. Sextus. Since he has a venereal disease, I guess it I guess it fits. This guy refuses to die. Cool. Alright, a secret on a baron, I don't care. These Bavarians are gonna come and suicide against me again. My seventh wife, I believe, just died. For those who are joining us for the first time, yes, that is true. You heard correctly. We have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wives, actually. <laughs> We've had eight wives. Well, we're going to find number nine. All we care about is stewardship. She's 52, she's beyond the age of having kids, so because she's 52, maybe this means she'll live a little bit longer than the previous eight. And she gave me another domain limit, which is nice. So this this capture will be a free, don't, a free capture, free county.
All right, we got to administrator. We got all. We lived long enough to get all three trees in, in stewardship. And I'm just gonna stay here. Just stay in it until we die. Alright, I can get a hook on this dude. I don't want to edit her contract anymore. Let's try to meet some common ground. 100%. Thank you, wife. we need another one. Right, Jojo, you're causing trouble. Making people mad. Just not good. Pissing off my vassals. We might not have to win this battle. The war might end before we get there. He's obviously going for the war target because that's what the AI does. But our war score is going to trickle in and it'll end the war before he can do anything about it. There we go. End the war. Now that was a free domain. I don't need to give anything away. Alright, this is, this is my heir's second son, so I have to kind of be careful of what I do, because I need to figure out my line of succession with his family, but we're not there yet. So for now, I'm just going to let him go. He's 16, so he still has a few more years before he has to get married. Alright, none of my powerful vassals are good in intrigue, so we'll put somebody else on here. gonna pacify some of my lesser happy vassals we can disband two more years until we can go back to war with the azurid Check you out. Alright, we can edit his contract again. We're allowed to. So let's do it. 100% he'll take the blackmail. I love editing. Ooh, we lost our cord position. They need to be replaced instantly. All right, none of my people are good, so we're gonna search for a position. Hopefully you get a good one with a good uh, physician trait. Oh, she's got renowned position. I don't like her personality though. He doesn't have, I like his personality, but I don't like his, wow. She has a really bad personality. But we're going to take her on. Alright, you know, 
let's put her to the test. I really don't care. She wants to, she rec recommends drastic measures, and I kind of don't care. I want my current ruler to die. I don't care. Let's see what she does. She probably cuts off my other leg. Or she cures me. No, she didn't cure me. She just gave me a good treatment. Greatly reduced disease symptoms. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna stick around for a little bit. <laughs> I think this is the longest living ruler I've had. He's 83. We discovered... We discovered the men-at-arms innovation. We were exposed to it, so let's take advantage of that. Let's give ourselves another armored footman. And then we can fill out the rest of our regiments. This is going to greatly increase the size of our army. Alright, we are going to have an absolutely world-beating army now. All right, what's nice is that because we have all of this land, we are... Oh, finally. Oh my god, finally. Imperator Julius I of the Roman Empire has finally found peace at 80 year, 83 years or 8. Even the game wanted him to die. He finally found peace at 83. He died gout-ridden, a hollowed shell of his former self. He had long lost his wits by the time of his final passing. Imperator Julius ascends to the throne, a godly man. Julius is sure to impress the priest with his extensive knowledge of the scriptures. Alright, let's hope that he went down the, uh, let's hope that he went down the architect line in the, uh, uh stewardship lifestyle. Let's check. Let's hope he did it. Let's hope he did it. Okay, he's currently going down that, so we will just finish it. We're gonna get to divided attention. He went, he decided to go down avaricious, but that's okay. At least he started going down this line, so I'm not totally upset. We did lose some of our domain limits, but we will take care of that after I'm done with this. Alright, we're going to put our Chancellor on domestic affairs because we have some opinions to improve. I'm going to put my Priest back on his job, and we are going to start getting all these claims from the Byzantines that we need. Now. Boom. Let's get that started ASAP. Uh, I'm gonna bribe my Realm Priest. He's my rival right now, which is not good, and he doesn't endorse me. But this should change that a little bit. He does endorse me now. But we are gonna sway him. Getting our Realm Priest opinion up is really important. I'm going to put my wife on managed domain. This might give me one more. Okay. So we have to give away three domains. Which is fine. We have two more counties in this duchy to give away. I like this kid, content and trusting, and he has good stewardship. I will give Magnus Caesar uh, a duchy title, but I don't have one right now. So the next duchy that I create, he will be the, the future duke of it. This is just a count, so not super important. Uh, he almost got me. He's a Lombard. He almost had me. I almost picked him. Nope, 
he's not married, so I'll just get it back. If it, if the person isn't married, then they're kind of useless to me. Alright, this guy's okay. He's got trusting. Alright, so now we have to give this duchy away. we have to create this duchy and now one more count to give away um since i'm since this is a new duchy and this is the duchy seat we'll give it to this kid perfect so that's our domains taken care of let's take care of our family really quick uh, we can hold court we'll do that later Um, let's go on a pilgrimage really quick. We'll go to Jerusalem. And we will figure out our family. Alright, let's figure it out. Don't really like how this guy's personality turned out. Don't like how this kid's personality is turning out either. Alright, I'm going to disinherit this kid just to make sure that he is not in the line of succession right now, because... Um... Alright, so unfortunately these are the sons that I have to choose from here. One, two, three... Don't like how these two guys are turning out. I do like kind of how this guy turned out personality-wise, but he does have these negative things going on with him. But for now, he is my best heir. He's 12. I gotta wait for him to grow up to ask him to take the vows and might have to disinherit this son. So, what's the line of succession looking like? It's not really great I might have to disinherit two sons but we're gonna wait for this guy we're gonna wait four years for this kid to become an adult we'll see if we can get him to take the vows if not we'll just disinherit both of them unfortunately my really problemed heir here has is the best of his brothers All right, he has lover's box, so let's cover that up with a beard. Sure. He is my heir, so he deserves to be dressed like it. off on my pilgrimage. I <laughs> love her spox. <laughs> All right, she is going to be the future. Alright, so while we are fabricating claims here in, in the Byzantine Empire that we're going to need to grab, and hopefully we'll be able to grab it from them, Let's press play.
I will host a feast on my, when I'm back from my pilgrimage. That'll be the next thing I do. I want to get opinions up, and that's the best way to do it. I do have some stress, too, that I could, uh, I could do to relieve some. All right, I'm just going to give the Pope some money for this. Pacify the Pope. Where does he want to go? What's the target? This? He wants to take this from me? He's trying to organize Christendom to take this. What's my stress like? Alright, this will put me over my stress. But I'll gain athletics, so I'll be able to work it out. take it. I'll take the stress. We'll be able to do something about it once the pilgrimage is over. There we go. Reduce some, uh, reduce them that way. Come on, get back from the pilgrimage. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we came pilgrims. We're not back yet. We're still on the pilgrimage. Come on, big guy. You can do it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, host a feast. This will... Ooh. I'm not getting anything... Alright. Give this to the realm priest. Hopefully help with his opinion. Uh, I don't need a cup bear. What's my court grandeur like? Alright, I have exotic food. I have all this stuff. that sure and we will i was just wondering why this host of fees i should be getting a whole bunch of stuff oh right that's right it's a court musician that helps improve that right yeah increase opinion gain when hosting a feast let's get this done sure that'll help with my opinion gain host this feast Got our stress down a little bit, and then right after this feast, we will do a hunt. This guy's giving away money. He's giving five gold to people, that's like nothing. I'd be insulted if he gave me five gold, because I have so much. Alright, yeah, we're holding off on... We're holding off on marrying our son for now. But my brother... Nope, we're gonna ignore him, too. And we have another court event. Somebody wants a job. She wants to be my cupbearer. No, get out of here. Good evening. Alright, let's bribe who we can bribe. The feast helped a little bit. Now... Or, the feast isn't over yet, I guess. Thought it was over.
All right, that should have helped a lot now. At least with the people who attended. Okay. Now to get our stress down even more, we will call a hunt. Yeah. Fascination discovered. All right, so we discovered land grants, the land grants innovation, which uh, fabricate claim on county councilor tax tax speed plus fifty percent. That's gonna speed up the rate at which my realm priest gets these claims done. So that's good. We want that. We definitely want that. Uh, what do we want to get next? We want to get... We're being exposed to windmills. I want to get trebuchets next. Alright, we gained a level of devotion. That's great. We're close to getting the next level of fame. I'm going to work off some more stress by working out, because I can. You emerge victorious, right? I inherited Tunis. Alright, the person that I gave Tunis died and I inherited some things from them. And for some reason there's three castle holdings in Tunis. Okie doke. This is going to be another duke, so good skills and everything. Too many ducal titles, so I need to give this away. Alright, back to our limit. And we are coming up on an hour, guys, so... We don't have any more wars. Oh, wait, can we go to... We Can we befriend West Frank? No, we can't. Why can we not? This is my nephew. He doesn't have any girls that he can marry. Alright, so we've lost our alliance with Frankia. I do have a 13-year-old daughter here. Let's see if we can get a good alliance. Oh, I can get it with... I can get it with Frankie again. Let's do it. I'll get my alliance back. That's what I want. I don't care that they have an age difference. That's not what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about my alliance. Alright, cool. And we are about to hit an hour, so let's do one more thing, guys. Let's do our first groveling session for this ruler. Actually, hold on, I noticed something. Before we hold the session, let's change his head. Let's change hers, too. Alright, now we can hold court. <laughs> now that we look the part of a Roman Emperor, now we can hold court. 
All right, let's bring him in. First grovel session of this ruler. Let's see how he handles him. All right, he wants to fund a city here. Part of Lower Bosnia. It's a small county. It only has two duchies, and he wants to build a city here. Okay. Fine. I'll lose the opinion of a baron if I do this, but I really want a better opinion of my realm priest. So let's take our realm priest side in that. Let's get tax assessor for 20 years, 25%, um, and it's 100%, so let's do it. Tax revolt ebbs away. All right. Okay, guys, so yes, we are over an hour. I'm going to wrap it up here. We did get some more conquest in Africa, and now that we finally, finally have a new ruler who is not disfigured, who is not chaste, or uh, not chaste, not celibate. He's not celibate. Because he's not disfigured or celibate, we can go back to doing our job and taking claims from the Byzantines and finally finishing our Unify Italy decision by finishing up Illyricum. We're going to we're going to finish this up now. And we will Are my armies still raised? Did I have I had my armies raised this whole time? I have. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but it's fine. No worries. We got... It was only costing us a little bit of money, and we have plenty of money. So, yeah. I am going to call it here, guys. I do have a new ruler for my thumbnails, which is really exciting. But he did take the throne at a pretty old age. He's 55 already, so... I'm going to have to decide my line of succession quickly. Uh, either disinherit these two kids or get at least one of them to take the vows. There's only one of three brothers, so it shouldn't be really hard to to figure out the line of succession. But that is something we have to deal with. But we will deal with all of that in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good time like I am. And we will continue this campaign and keep building Rome. But it's gonna, we're just going to be doing it one episode at a time. So... Thank you so much for watching. I hope I pre uh, I hope I deserved a thumbs up. Or feel free to comment. Do all those good things. But until the next one, have a good one, guys.